Hello everybody, this is Tara with another Sensei Sunday. This is number three. And today I have a question to ask Sensei that's kind of more personal to my development. And so what I've noticed, Sensei, is that how, how what do you think? How should I, how, how would one handle this? Whenever I get a stripe or I do something and it's like really amazing and I accelerate and I, I break through a barrier, right? and I have that success, all of a sudden, I then, it's like, I'll go zoom, and then it's almost like I don't want to get up to go to class. It's like, I just find it's like, okay, I hit my success, and then to keep climbing, it's like, what, how do I pass, how do I get through those like lulls, that, those like waves, I guess, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you got it. Lots, okay. of, lots of how to use in there, that's good. Yeah, So okay. This is, this is not uncommon. It's, it's quite common in the martial arts, it's common in other things in people's lives too. A lot of times when we have a particular goal and we work very, very hard to achieve that goal, once we achieve the goal, well, there's a feeling initially of satisfaction and wow, it's great, I got my goal. But then afterwards, we sometimes feel a bit lost because we don't want, know what to do next because after all, we worked so hard for that goal, maybe for, for many years, and what do we do now? Um, it happens to people sometimes when they graduate high school or when they get their degree or when, even when they get a PhD, they have this uh, sense afterwards of everything dropping off. Now, of course, we see this in martial arts because at every rank, you're earning red stripes as you go through the rank. One of the hardest things for my students is when they've got two red stripes on their belt and they know they need one more to be able to do the graduation because at that point, their mind says, I know everything. I've learned all this stuff. The instructor says, you haven't learned it well enough yet. Keep on working at it and polishing it up more. Then they work hard, they finally get that down, they get their third stripe. Now they're ready for graduation. So, what tends to happen is while they're waiting for graduation, part of their mind says, oh, you don't need to practice so hard, you're ready now, you're just waiting. Well, actually you do need to keep practicing because you need to keep polishing your practice. Then once you graduate, then you get the new belt, the award, it all feels great at first. But then there's that immediate sense afterwards of, wow, now I'm in uncharted territory again. I don't know what I'm going to have to learn for the next rank. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Mm -hmm. And so then you show up for the next class, you start to learn your new material, and it becomes discouraging at times because sometimes one of the new moves is like so hard you can't imagine yourself ever learning it. It's like, well, how do I do that? How can I ever learn that? Mm -hmm. And again, you have to overcome that barrier. That's the next obstacle to overcome. So it's a constant process, whether it's in the martial arts classes or in life. It's a constant process of setting your goals, achieving your goal, seeing what you have to do to set the next goal, setting the next goal and starting out on the step-by-step -step process, one step at a time towards achieving the next goal. And there's not going to be an end to this. Mm -hmm. This isn't something that you go like, okay, okay, now I got it, I can sit back. Life is not about sitting back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One thing you should learn in martial arts <laughs> as it works in life is life is about going forwards. Yeah. There's always Thanks. another goal. There's always another thing that you can learn, that you can learn to conquer. Yeah. Because, yes, you want... First of all, when you come for a new rank, like for example, you're going to get promoted soon to your purple belt. Once you get your purple belt, show up for the classes, learn about the new material. Yeah. That's the first step. Learn about it. It's like anything. When you go to your first classes in college, you're learning about the subject that you're studying. You don't know it yet, you're learning about it. Mm. Once you've learned something about it, then you start to actually come to understand some of the material. You learn more and more. As you get more and more information, you keep accruing information, and over time, by practicing the use of that information, it becomes knowledge. Cool. You keep stirring it. And as you then achieve a level of knowledge on that level, okay, you can still keep working with the same material. Yeah. Because you want to go beyond knowledge to wisdom. You want to actually know the stuff so well, you can actually comment on it, you can see how it applies in a lot of different areas. And so that's the process. Yeah. From learning about something um, to learning the thing itself. Oh, sorry. And then to becoming knowledgeable. Oh. <laughs> and eventually to, to gaining wisdom. Yeah. So that gives you some insight into the process um, psychologically that goes on with people. Yeah. Because every time it comes up for people... Because you're, you're also a psych psychologist? Yeah, like, exactly. That's my cool. background is in psychology. Yeah. And the, the process you have to go through is once you've learned about the stuff, yeah. get it down and keep setting that next goal. Keep setting the next goal. Recognize there's always a next goal. 
Okay, cool. So there you have it, you guys. It's like just keep moving, don't stop, don't give up, and you will you will just eventually have everything that you would like. Bam. All right, this is Tara. Thank you for tuning in to Sensei Sundays. We're out. Bye. Have a good day.